Welcome to the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. We're going to tie a foam body elk hair caddis. I've got a TMC 100 in here with some Vivas 12 aught. I'm going to tie the thread in. I'm going to leave the thread hanging out the back because that's going to be my rib. Now you can use 4X mono, no problemo. Um, but this is how I normally do it. I've got a little yellow foam all pre cut. You can um, make these as bulky as you want. The thing with foam to remember is not to cinch down so tight into it that you cut it. And then when you make your first wrap in the back, bring your finger around with it and kind of push it so that you don't tear the material as you start. That's the thing that drives people the craziest about trying to do foam body flies like this. I'm just going to tie that off. And then I'll take this and twist it just to tighten it up so I can see where I'm cutting so I don't cut my thread. And I'll tie and cover this up a little bit. Okay. And then I'll grab my hackle, which I just got a little ginger hackle. You can use Cree or brown or cream or whatever color you like. I'm just going to palmer this back through the body. This fly with foam, I tie these to fish in heavy riffles, so I heavy hackle them as well. Um, if I'm going to use them in a different situation, I may opt to thin the hackle down a little bit. I'll get that out of there. Pop my thread. So the body's all done. So now I need to get a wing on that bad boy. Okay, so I've got some elk hair here. This is cow elk, and I'm just going to comb it out, get the under hair out, throw the tips in the hackle stacker straight down. Pound this bad boy for a little bit until you even everything out. Just makes a much nicer fly when you take the time to stack the hair. And Does it make it any better fishing fly? No, I don't know. But it makes me appreciate my flies a little better than if I just did them without it. Okay, two loose wraps. Pull that bad boy down and just keep adding wraps. Snugging down occasionally. Okay, and then I'm going to take this. I'm not going to let go of that back wing at all. And I'm going to bring the thread around front. <laughs> I've maintained the separation between the two so far. We'll see how long this lasts. I'm going to whip finish that. And then I'm going to pull these hairs a little bit forward and come in here. Cut that at an angle. some glue and we have a foam bodied high floating elk hair caddis.